All right, today we're going to look at the SP Services Library, the jQuery library for pulling stuff from SharePoint with jQuery. So here we have your SharePoint list, all your columns and rows that you like, and you want to display this to Joe Blow on his computer. What we need for that is a page, right? We'll call this page.aspx. Now imagine this page is completely empty, straight up HTML code, no need for anything fancy. Two things I do. Up top we need to reference two scripts. The first is jQuery, and the second is SP Services, which you can find on CodePlex, made by Mark Anderson and some others. Uh, it's a great library. And the second thing we need to do is what I do is we're going to make an empty unordered list. Empty. Just a placeholder. Now what SP Services is going to do, it's going to be a JavaScript function here that uses operations like get list, get list item, get list collection, there's a whole bunch of them that do a lot of different stuff with pulling data from SharePoint. There's a couple of major ones that I use when I'm pulling list information. So what these do is this goes to SharePoint. It goes to your SharePoint list. It pulls the columns and the rows you need in your query that you set in SP services and it sends it back. And the data you get back, we just use regular JavaScript, sorry, jQuery to uh, pull each row. And we're going to pull some data like column one, column 2, column 3. We're going to take these, this data here and we're going to make a new variable called stuff. Remember this is just a general overview so uh, you can look more in depth a little bit later but um, we're going to create a new variable called stuff and we're actually going to make a new list item and with this list item we're going to actually put in all of our I'm going to put in all my column data here and then I'm going to take this variable and I'm going to actually append it to the unordered list we made here. So using jQuery I'm going to take it and find my unordered list append stuff. And note that we're still inside this each uh, function here so each time it finds a row from this list it's going to run through all these things. It's going to make a new list item append it to the unordered list and what we're going to wind up with is our new page ASPX it now has a nice unordered list with all of our data from SharePoint. So that's just a quick overview of how SP Services and jQuery works um, with SharePoint. If you want to know kind of some more in-depth stuff, check out two things: my site bentetter.com and for the SP Services library go to spservices.codeplex.com enjoy